We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with CLOV Stock Clover Health Investments. I'm going to cover why it went up. A lot of people are asking questions on why it went up. And we're going to talk about why it pulled down and what's going on in the chart overall based off of 42 vision as well as some data on the short interest and all the information that we have to cover here with CLOV stock but before we do I want to share with you guys the home runs of the day every single stock I mentioned this morning turned out to be a home run and then we're going to get right into it here with CLOV stock the home runs of the day were spectacular and every single stock I mentioned this morning turned out to be a home run even though the S&P 500 index is struggling to get back up to all-time highs and is having a red day and portfolios are sitting sideways or in the red i will continue to look for opportunities daily and this is something you can become part of as well by joining us check out the link down below in the description to the discord you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so this was our home run from yesterday that gave us 170 percent plus at its highest point but today we were watching it and it turned out to be a home run again indp opad and irnt let's go ahead and look here how these stocks perform so opad it dipped after the bell we mentioned it in the pre-market pulled back and from that moment forward it ripped giving a highest point of 45 percent plus now irnt we caught this one in the pre-market it moved up a nice five to ten percent move and then it pulled back down and it ripped for a 25% plus move after that pullback. And here we are with the home run from yesterday. INDP, we caught this one in the pre-market as it was pulling back. And from $12, it took off to $15, giving a highest point of 30% plus. Pulling back and having another run of 20% to 30% plus. This was phenomenal, guys. If this is something you want to become part of, as well check out the link down below and we look forward to having you join us this is how indp performed yesterday it was a home run yesterday and it's a home run today all over again and we'll continue to look for opportunities no matter what volatility is in the stock market let's jump into these charts so here we are with clov stock clover health investments and we're going to talk about why it spiked up big time and how these are moments of bull traps and if you keep falling for them right because i've talked about these bull trap scenarios before since way back here and through this consolidation like literally the whole month of july all the way to august and all the way till now i've talked about this several times that when it spikes up pretty fast if you try to chase it or you think that it's going to reverse that fast and it's going to continue going up it's not a real big push right it's something that pushed it but it turns out to be a bull trap because everything that it went up it just went right back down and now it's trying to get back up off of 42 vision you can see that transition like it wants to push up and it has to change to dark green to see if there's real momentum if not this is just going to sit sideways or even go further down and we have support levels to look at but why did the stock clover health investments jump today well it came out with news of some pretty interesting things and this is great news for the public and for the stock overall but it didn't really hold up the price right or many investors have not understood just yet what this meant for the stock or are completely unaware of why it ran up right so the first thing was clover health is to provide in-home covid19 vaccinations to medicare advantage members that came out this morning at 9 a.m and possibly even earlier than that that's why it started to run pretty early as we see it and after the bell right it started to run way back here but you could see right here 9 a.m when it started to push up and when it continued so that right there is what it says at all right if we read through all of this it's just the whole entire explanation the whole nine yards we're not going to sit here and read this but literally this headline made it to the point where it pushed it up nearly 10 percent from those lows in the pre-market and then right after it just lost the fume no other news no other catalyst and it just went right back down to where it all started and continuing the trajectory 
of that downward trend. So we got to look at some support levels here and we're going to look at short interest and everything about it here with the charts. So the first thing I want to look at here is the support, right? That's the first thing we want to be aware of and why this support is important. And that is way down here before this run happened. Okay. That is down here at 742, 740 range. If that gets broken through, I would watch how this reacts between 740 and $7. But before getting there, right? Today's lows were right down here at 807. If that gets broken through, the first support level I would look at in between 740 and 807 is 780 to see what's going on and also 750 if you want to use that as a reference. So these are some key levels to the downside I would watch. We're going to talk about the upside in just a moment, but let's look at the short interest here. So with Clover Health, we could see here, right? that things are not changing, right? The short ratio based off of this information at the time of this recording is 8.2, right? 0.82 and 15% short float. If that continues to stay at those levels or go higher, both of these, that is going to create an even larger possible squeeze within the charts and the opportunity because the lower it goes and the higher this gets and if bulls go ahead, and load up at those positions and in those areas it could push the stock up even higher right so the first resistance level that the bulls want to break through is obviously today's high and that is 862 and the next one's up here at 877 and then way back up here at 932 those are the three key levels i'm watching right now for the bulls to even push up to the upside but it doesn't seem like that's something that's going to happen overnight or even highly likely to be possible right now unless the squeeze starts from these levels that is a possibility what i'm really looking for is like i stated in my previous videos for this to consolidate within this area and we're slightly below it okay so if it can't consolidate there we'll at least stay above these levels and consolidate here okay and do its own channel until the next run why because that would go ahead and show some strength of this whole entire move. Even though this all happened and came right back down, at least it's above where it all started. If it goes back towards it or breaks through it, we could then really head towards $7. And there's a reason why the stock has so much weakness right now. And it's because ever since this date way back here on the 10th after this weakness, there has been an initiated price target but to the downside, not to the upside, but to the downside. And if we look at this together, you're going to see it. And that is right here on September 10th initiated. Okay. They didn't start off with an upside. They started off with the downside underperform $7. That right there is putting pressure right now on the stock, giving leverage to the shorts, which we've seen how much short interest there is. And then the bulls, getting shaken and handing right back over their positions to the shorts and making the stock go lower and lower and keeps on breaking through support. So these key levels that we've talked about are going to be important. But the reason why it jumped today was because of this fresh news in the morning, didn't hold it up, but that it could be news to create a further catalyst in the future as people start to realize or value what this means for the company. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.